Nobody says anything to your face. Nobody's saying you can't do this or you're a woman. But it doesn't mean that people don't think that. I had my first little motorbike from the age of two. And I was a little girl that loved speed. At 10, I wanted to be a race car driver. I was 12 years old, didn't seem to bat an eyelid. I just turned up to a racetrack. My father proposed to me the challenge of driving myself. He said, I will pay for one year. If you are good enough, you continue. If not, you stop. I had an, an extraordinary childhood growing up in around Williams. I did my school project on Williams. It's crazy to then drive for them 20 years later. My older brother started go-karting and I kind of followed him into it. I was basically one of literally no other girls. It was at the age of 13, I was taken to a Formula 3 race at Donington Park. Jensen Button won on that day and went on to become a world champion. And that's when I kind of realized, okay, I could make a career out of this. The team owner that I drove for, we were all testing one day at Donington and uh, they asked who was the quickest and I overheard him like stick his head in the car and he was like, the girl's the quickest, get out there and go faster, like I wasn't supposed to. We had plenty of female crews in rallying and they were very well accepted, uh, but maybe not when they were leading. In DTN there was very tough moments where I was struggling for the results that I, that I felt I had, uh, was capable of. And that's simply, yeah, part of my character. I just dig deep and, and keep going. Formula One um, is brutal. Running any company is pretty tough going. I've sacrificed a lot. I've given up a lot for this team, not least being you know, a, a mom and a, and a wife. Through adversity and through challenges, uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And so I felt like I, I did learn a lot from it though. It is a tough industry, you know. I, I see Claire sat in board meetings with male team principals and it's an intimidating environment. I never really thought about um, you know, being a female in the business, just got on with my job. And then when I was DTP, the same for a few years. And then obviously I think as wider society started creating a, a greater level of gender diversity and seeing other, how other people were operating, other women in senior roles, I kind of thought to myself, you know, I need to do something here. You don't think, oh, I am a woman, I have to do it differently. No, you do because, you know, action is action, men or women. In Formula One, it was actually only ever supposed to be 25 laps at Silverstone. It was a chance for me to drive the car, but I had managed to do a really good job and beat the kind of expected lap time. A lot of people criticised us that it was a marketing gimmick, etc. It absolutely wasn't because, as I've always said, you know, motorsport is dangerous. You don't just put someone in their car because it ticks the you know, gender diversity box. That's, that would just be stupid. And Susie did a great job and is an absolute trailblazer. Subsequently, we brought in Jamie, um, and that was very important to us to have another female in our academy, but again, she earned her place. I think a lot of people assume that I, I feel sort of some difference being a female in the sport, but I, I really didn't, and I really don't. When I won that race um, at Franz Hatch, I didn't realize that I was the first female to do that. I had no idea. So yeah, for me, it was just a cool thing to win a race in British F3, but yeah, a little bit of an added bonus, you know, that I was the first female to do it. My first year in IndyCar, I remember thinking to myself, I mean, I still have to do it. Like, I still have to go out there and prove myself. And like, just because I've got, I'm here now, doesn't mean that I'm going to stay. The outings for me in Formula One, I think, came to represent so much more than just a driver taking to the track. I didn't think I was doing something for women. I, I just thought I was progressing. I was achieving something incredible for myself. Women in the past have been up against resentment and judgment and like uh, a real, I mean, there's always skepticism for sure because it's not that like women are not the dominating force in racing, but, um, but I think that when I came along, there was so much more uh, hope. I felt when I hung up my helmet that I wanted to give something back to the sport and I felt it was, was up to me to take action and make sure that the sport did become more diverse and now Girls on Track obviously with the FAA it's a global program and there is a lot of support out there because I think with with the generation that we're living in now people don't see a reason why women shouldn't be more involved in motorsport and from the commercial perspective we're missing out on 
you know, half of the population on the talent side, but also on the audience side. So I think it's, it's important to, to be proactive. There was no real reason why I should have made it other than I just had so much blind faith is what I called it then. I just knew that there was, this whole thing was just, I just had too much to offer. But the overwhelming question was always like, when are you gonna win, when are you gonna win? Which meant they believed I could. We, we tried to find more women in competition, but we needed to have more women involved in motorsport at all levels, uh, in all areas, in aspect of motorsport. worry about what gender you are um, if that's what you want to do um, do what you need to do in order to get to to get to where you want to get to and you will get there you know it's incredible the setup that Formula One is and I guess as a driver it's an incredible feeling to know that one day you know you could be a part of that I know for me if I didn't have Audi I don't think I would have progressed like I did. I hope I gave the good example and that people will remember that I have been fighting a lot and uh, I managed to do it. I would absolutely encourage any girl that has any tiny inkling of wanting to come into this world to do it because it is so magical.